What's happening? Ray Carnes, the co-founder of Rectech Grills. Today we're going to talk about the awesome Rectech. If you already own one, you already know this. It's the best pellet grill on the market. It's by far and away the most bang for your buck. It is built like a tank. It's built to last a lifetime and it comes with a six year factory warranty. It's the most convenient grill to use. It gives you the most flavor and it's so easy. You press a button, the computer does the rest. However, if you own one long enough, there's a chance that you can have a malfunction. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about troubleshooting. The Rectech consists of five parts. You've got a fan, you've got an RTD, you've got a computer, you've got a hot rod, and you've got an auger motor, okay? Other than that, it's just the heavy gauge stainless steel and steel. So if you ever have a problem, we want to help you figure out what's letting you down so we can have you back up and running in a snap. So let's get started. So next is the RTD. Uh, the RTD is your temperature probe. The, this part does not move. Very rare that you have any trouble out of this part. In the event that you have trouble, what it is is giving bad information to the computer. A lot of times, the times I've heard that they failed, a grill will stall at, at 380 degrees and it won't go any higher, 380 to 360 for some reason. Uh, that usually means this is an RTD. One screw holds it in and you plug the, plug the new piece in. Very rarely do these fail, but in the event that you ever have a problem, I want you to know how to recognize it. It basically is giving uh, incorrect information to the computer, so you'll see some sort of goofy things happening with your temperature in the event that this fails you. So the Rectex is designed to give you years and years of enjoyment. I hope this helped in the uh, rare event that you maybe encounter a problem. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit RectechGrills.com and let your friends know about this awesome grill. Thanks for watching, guys.